everyone. Today we have a swimwear haul and maybe I'll throw in a couple show and tells um, at the end like I often do on my videos after the main subject. But um, what's this? Oh, this is a swimwear haul because I had to, uh, last year I still had my larger size and I bought a lot of clothes in my smaller size but I didn't buy a lot of swimwear and last summer I just, I didn't swim a lot. I don't think it was that hot, but we have a pool here, but I wore the men's smalls, but now I'm in a boys XXL or XL, whatever's the largest size. So some of these I tried on and some I didn't. By the way, I have to, I, it's a good thing I kept some of my men's because I am like two pounds overweight. <laughs> so I think I told you guys on my last video, but yeah, I've been gaining weight, unfortunately. I, I started out, let's see how many pounds was I? I was 132, which is where I like to be. Um, no, actually I was like 127, which is, I don't like being there. I got to 132, which I'm 5'2". I like the way that looks on me. And um, so now I am 139. And 136 or seven is the cutoff from normal to overweight. My BMI, so. Yeah, and I have a physical exam tomorrow and I'm gonna have my fingernails looked at. For those of you that don't know, my fingernails just stopped growing and they stopped growing. Like, um, okay, I, I called my doctor about a month ago. I, I emailed, you know, I called, whatever. And the nurse called me back and said, make an appointment. So, you know, it might be serious, but um, you know, I looked up my fingernails and toenails. I don't even remember the last time I trimmed them. I just, I've just cleaned the dirt out underneath them, you know, with the little thing that's inside a nail clipper. Yeah, I do that. But um, I've noticed, I'm like, wait a minute, like about a month ago, I thought, wait a minute, when was the last time I trimmed my nails? Because I do keep them short and they do look okay. They're not, they haven't grown. <laughs> so, um, and then a month ago, and then a month ago, I didn't really remember the last time I trimmed them, but usually I think toenails grow slower than fingernails, but... Um, yeah, and I was using my clipper to clean under my nails, and I'm like, wait a minute, what time? When did I use the the clipper? You know, fingernail clipper or the toenail clipper? I have one one for each. So um, yeah, so wish me luck. I'm having a physical too, but um, that's the reason I made an appointment. I had to wait three weeks, but um, yeah, I'm having my annual physical exam. I've been getting physical exams every year. You don't have to when you're young, but. At Kaiser, I've had Kaiser pretty much my whole life. I started getting, like it, when I got health insurance at the Funk at at and I was 19 when I, you know, was full time and had insurance, all the coverage, you know, all that dental insurance. And, um, what was I gonna say? I forgot what I was talking about, folks. Um, sorry, I'll rewatch this video and I'll get my train of thought. And I'll remember, but that happens to me sometimes. I'll get on a tangent and then I forget what I was talking about. Sorry, folks. It's happened before. It's happened before, like in my personal life. And I'll just be like, they'll have to remind me what I, usually I'll ask the other person and they'll usually remember like what brought us to that, you know, that um, topic, you know, cause it's not good to go out on tangents, I know. Okay, this is, I wear uh, men's and boys clothes exclusively except I wear women's underwear and women's socks sometimes because I like thin socks um and most men seem to wear the crew socks and you know the thicky athletic socks I don't like those and with women they have a lot of like nylon they have them for men too but thin ones I do buy boys socks I found some that are really thin um a while ago I used to wear thick socks like crew socks and um, I think, I'm pretty sure I wore a size, a half size up for my normal size. My normal size is a size five boys, size seven women. But I think I have those those hiking shoes. I, if any of you watch my video where I shared, shared those hiking shoes by Fila, I think. I've never used, you know, I showed you that. Well, those are five and a half, those are boys five and a half. So I must have, or maybe I just thought, gee, I'm gonna wear these with six, thick socks, so I better size up, half size. But um, 
Yeah, I like thin socks because I don't need to, they fit me perfectly. I just don't like thick socks, you know? So, um, yeah, I do wear women's socks and I wear women's um, underwear only. I don't, I did buy some um, in a Temu haul coming up. I haven't gotten the package yet, but I did buy a package of boys' boxer briefs and they looked almost like women's boxer briefs in the shape they were cut high. I don't want no low cut on my leg boxer briefs. So these were cut really high and they're boys and they have really cute patterns on them. And they're not like little boy or, or they're not like, you know, masculine. They're just like unisex print. So yeah, I did get those. So we'll see how those are. It was only like $5 and you get four of them, I think. So I th I'll check it out. So anyways, this unfortunately is not black. For some reason I thought it was. It's navy blue. So, cause I do have um, another pair of swimwear that would match with this, with black. But I have a couple, but this is navy blue. And it's a Billabong, which is supply company established 73. This is um, a big surf company, surfwear. I'm sure that we were around, they were around when I was a teenager. They're really old. Okay, and it says UV surf. Sorry, folks, I don't know where I got all these. Some have tags, but some I opened and tried on. This one I was actually gonna wear. I packed it on a trip. So, um, yeah, it does fit. But it's navy blue, unfortunately. I couldn't find a black one. I, see, I don't like them when they have like surfers and stuff. And this just has, you know, Billabong Supply and it it doesn't even say surf on it. It says established 73. Oh yeah, no wonder, 1973. No wonder I've heard of them before. Okay, and then I found, um, I'm wearing my cheapy reading glasses because I'm, I'm kind of sick of my expensive ones. Okay, TJ Maxx. Okay, but I got these online. And TJ Maxx, if you spend a certain amount of money, you get free shipping at tjmaxx.com. And there's also marshalls.com. They're the same company. And sometimes they have the same things on their website, but um, you can't combine your order. At, combine, I think I, yeah, I did. You can't take one item from TJ Maxx and one item from Marshalls, ship them together at, at one shipping fee, you know? But if you only buy one item, it's like $9 shipping or something. So it's kind of a ripoff. So I don't know what I did on these. I just thought they were so cool. Let's see how much I paid. XO Americana. Yeah, see, it says TJ Maxx, which is one of my favorite stores to shop in. If I'm not going to shop online to go in person. Okay, these are really cute. Good. They're going to match the navy blue. They, they've got fl American flags, peace symbols, you know, where you're, that, where you're going like this. They have that. And I don't, I've never had any, oh, how cute. They're by Trunks. I had men's in this brand. They've got very cute patterns. The men's too. They might even make the same pattern and same material in men's. Trunks, surf and swim, easy care, comfortable fit, quick dry technology, size, extra large. Well, that's a boy's extra large. And C says trunks. And then this is a, yeah, I've had this before with, um, what do they call these? Jams? No, these aren't really jams. I'd call these um, trunks, swim trunks. Because these aren't real long shorts, you know. I don't like those. I mean, I wouldn't wear them. The jams, the ones that are like to your knee and they're like skinny. And you no, know, I don't want that kind for swimwear. Okay, this is a white. Okay, it's loose fit. I tried this. UPF 50, Billabong, another Billabong. I think what happened is I ordered a bill, that Billabong right here and I knew they fit, right? The boys extra large. So I bought, um, I found out another website. Um, see, it says Billabong. And this is a big surfing company, surf. And I like the way it's just a symbol. It doesn't have like surfers or I don't want anything like that looks juvenile, you know? So, well, I do like juvenile clothes because even this shirt I'm wearing right now, it has rockets. This is from Target, Cat and Jack. It has rockets on it. <laughs> so cute. And it was really cheap because Target's, all Target's children's clothes are cheap. Okay. Hold on.
See, it's, it's very kind of hard to read because it's white on gray. So I can read it, but it does say loose fit, and I like that. The other one I don't think does. Let me see. This one fits better. Let's see. No, this is UV Surf. Okay, people surf in these, like when it's they don't need a full wetsuit. I guess they wear like these. They're rash guards. Oh, I didn't even tell you guys what these are. They're not t-shirts. They're rash guards. They're, you know, kids wear them, little toddlers at the pool or at the beach. They usually have them on with like matching bottoms or um, because um, parents don't want their kids to sunburn, you know, here, here. You can go in the water with them. They dry really fast. Um, I wish I would have said what they were because you guys probably all just thought they were t-shirts. <laughs> But no, these are much more expensive, unfortunately, than t-shirts. Plus they're, this is a license, I mean, this is an expensive brand, Billabong. Because I think the pro surfers back in the day used to uh, wear, you know, um, endorse Billabong. Maybe they're surfboards or, when I was a kid, I, I read the skate, a teenager, a young teenager, I was into the skateboard magazines. And I remember some showed women, girls, but of course most of them were boys, but I skateboarded and um, yeah, I was really like, cool, they have girls. <laughs> now I'm sure they have lots of girls or women in skateboard tournaments, comp um, competitions. But these are to go with the white top. I love checker. I have bands in checker. And I have a cap in checker. So, uh, yeah, this is to go with the top, white top. And then, wait a minute. Oh, this is, Okay. Sorry, I'm getting lost here. Okay. These are the new swim shorts. Um, I like to call them swim shorts, but they're really called swim trunks, I guess. Or board shorts. Built-in boxer brief. Oh, a boxer brief? I'm not going to like that. Usually they just have like net by your, like a brief. This means it's going to go down to your leg. Oh, I don't like these. These are like jams. No, these are... These are like jams. I'm not gonna like them. I'll probably wear them anyways, but um, thereabouts. Oh, it's from JCPenney. They weren't expensive. Thereabouts is the JCPenney children's line, their own brand. So um, I think they're pretty. I try to buy, you know, boys um, clothes that are unisex looking. Same with men's. I bought young men's, not men's. So, um, that's kind of like how I like to express myself. I, I like to look androgynous. So, and then this top, okay, this is zero exposure. This was expensive. Oh, $36. I know I didn't pay for that. Let's see if there's a tag on here. Oh, it says extra large, but on top of it, there's a tap, uh, top. There's a um, sticker, so I can't read that. I'm putting these stickers over here, okay. This one is also navy blue, but it's a lighter navy blue. Like, I know this is not black. And if I didn't say, I'm not colorblind or anything, but I have a problem sometimes of telling the difference between navy blue and, and black, especially a dark navy blue. And this top I thought was gray, like charcoal. It's actually a navy blue. It's actually a very dark navy blue, like maybe with some white blended in. I don't know if you can see it, but I had to put it next to black. Like I know these pants I have are black and then I could tell it was blue. But to my naked eye, I, I, don't, I don't know. I think men have that more color blindness than women, but um, no, I'm not color blind. I've taken those tests, you know, as a kid or whatever. Seeing I don't know where I saw them, but um, yeah. So really pain in the butt, like when I'm trying to match outfits that I can't tell. I would say I'm wearing a navy out, navy pants. I want a navy top maybe, or black pants. I want a black top. Like I was gonna mix this with my charcoal pants, and it's navy. It's not. It wouldn't look good. I mean, it would be okay, but it's not um, the right color. So I'm just wearing my Walmart. These came in a twin pack. These jeans, cheap. Like the whole the twin pack with a with a black stone wash. And a gray and a and a this blue stone wash was only twelve dollars. I don't know if they still have them. And they're um, elastic waist, and they do have really big pockets. So, yeah, these are really good. Goodbye. 
So this top is, catch the waves. Yeah, I don't really like this one because it's only like for the beach. When most of the time I, I go in the water, I, go in, I wade in water, whatever, is in a pool. So zero exposure, you, even though I live near Santa Monica, zero exposure, recycled polyester 50 plus, sun protection 50 plus. Okay, I didn't really like this one. I just needed a blue one, a navy blue one. Or just a, this one is definitely navy blue. I can tell it's not black. So I don't really like this one because it says catch the waves and does it have a surfer? No, it doesn't have a surfer. I think I noticed that. Um, oh, no, here's on front. There's no surfer in, you know, guy or girl surfing on surfboard. So I like that. I won't buy the ones that have a surfer. <laughs> no. It's not It's not a hobby of mine at, this, at the current moment, but my cousin in near San Diego, I can't think of the city. It's a cousin I met on Ancestry. Her husband still surfs every single day. And he's like, he's definitely in his 60s. So I think that's really cool. He's been surfing his whole life. And he's always surfed. Probably when he lives somewhere else, he surfed every day too. But um, yeah, I've seen, I've seen on TV, like documentaries and stuff of you know, people in their 60s and even older surfing, which I think is really cool. So he goes in the morning, I'm sure he wears a wetsuit and I don't think his beach, I forget where he lives. He lives between, somewhere between San Diego and like Long Beach, but in there. And um, yeah, it's not that hot there. It's not like where I live. So yeah, the ocean's probably cold most of the time. Okay, then I got, these, so what brand is this? Zero Exposure, okay, I've never heard of that brand. But it says 50 SPF on, even on the inside of the shirt, so. Okay, these are Real Swim, I think these are for Bells. Let me see. Bells is a, a store in Florida, it's a department store. It's B-E-A-L-L-S, and I thought it was pronounced Beals, but it's pronounced Bells, because I've called them and they answer the phone bells, <laughs> or thank you for calling bells. So it's a chain of department stores, and I'm pretty sure they're only in Florida. And I go to their website, I think it's bealsflorida.com or just Beals. No, I think bealsflorida.com is a different website, bealsflorida.com. And unfortunately, most of their products are um, of the uh, fishing lifestyle for boys and men. I don't know about women, but uh, like the t-shirts have, you know, seafood and fish and, you know, and they have fishing shirts, which I think are made like these rash guards, um, which is polyester. This one's all polyester. Um, so, um, I forgot what I was talking about. <laughs> I was looking here. I'm getting nervous, folks. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, let me see how long this video is taken. Okay, I'm not gonna have the show and tell. This is taking too long. So, um, these are their brand, oh, Beals. They only have like the lifestyle of fishing. This is looking at Boys and Glow stuff. And they have the lifestyle of, I think, surfing, probably because they're in Florida. And I don't like a lot of their clothes. I've even looked at their women's clothes to give my mom gifts or whatever. and. Um, no, and they always carry this brand, Real Swim. This is real, like they have real legends. Well, the other ones of these Real Swim in this in this uh, style were all like fishing kind of, you know, or surfing or, so I finally found one that was kind of plain. So, yeah, I'll show you the tag. These weren't expensive, I don't think, I know, I don't think so. But it goes good because um, this kind of has navy blue and a lighter blue like these do. So it goes really good. So. Now, wait a minute. Oh, sorry, folks. <laughs> okay, that's for that. Oh, okay. This is for this. Okay. I showed you the wrong thing. I grouped the two together wrong. Okay, this is the top I got show you how the design matches the shorts sun protection SPF 50 
Okay, see how it really matches the shorts good with the colors? Salma's got the same colors as the shorts have. So, um, yeah, that rash guard. And then this, okay, these shorts I just showed you that are real legend. The top I got to go to with them. Let's see where that's from. I've had these a while. I just haven't felt like trying them on. Let's see. I've been collecting them, really. Some of them I bought in the winter, really cheap. Most of I haven't bought one in like three months, so they're all from pre-season. Rich blue. Rash guard. Maybe when I get the tag out, it'll say what brand it, what, um, Oh, it's JC Penny. Thereabouts. It says UPF 50, but that's their children's brand. Okay, it says $30, but JC Penny always does that even if you go in the store and it's like marked half off, so you pay 15. So I don't remember how much I paid for this, but it's uh it's the JC Penny children's line. Boys and girls. Thereabouts. And this is an extra large 1820 of a boys, yeah. So you really, I really only see men wearing rash guards and sometimes they're hiding their big belly. <laughs> but um, yeah, I don't see too many women, but little girls, yes, their parents put them in rash guards and like matching bottoms or swim trunks or, you know, all the way up to like, I know my sister put them in, their, in rash guards probably until they were seven or eight, maybe longer because they both, she didn't want them to get burnt or whatever. You can put sunscreen, but. Um, yeah, children put them on their babies and toddlers when they take them to the ocean or out in the sun at the beach or at a pool. Okay, so these are 98% polyester, 11, 2% spandex. Okay, so yeah, this is just a plain one. I really wanted all plain ones, but I don't think they have any other colors of the thereabouts ones that I didn't already have. So this, I'm sure this was like $15 at the most, probably on sale. But I do, uh, one thing I like about it is it has, I take my glasses off. It has long sleeves, it looks like. That's kind of nice, because the other ones are more short. So I might like that, especially since I get burnt really easy. <laughs> I'm like, I have to wear like, um, um, sunblock on my face and on my body and uh, my you know, my arms and my neck and my face. I get special for my face, special um, Neutrogena um, sunblock, facial sunblock. No, actually right now I have something else, but that's what I usually get. And then on my body, I use like a copper tone SPF uh, 30 maybe. And then on my legs, I do an SPF 8 because I want to tan my legs. And if I SPF 30 on my legs, I'll never tan, <laughs> probably. Because um, year, in, year round, my legs are, li are wider than my arms. Probably because, you know, your arms are exposed to the sunlight when you go outside. But I don't wear shorts year round, so, yeah. So, um, yeah, I like laying in the sun. I'll probably, But if I lay in the sun here, it's so hot, like, 100 or whatever and it hasn't been hot so I haven't had to wear any of this it's been like I think today was like 82 and it's, it hasn't reached 90 and it's been summer you know several days it even this this um spring was really cold it was 60s and you know no heat waves I don't think and rain and yeah so I don't know what's going on with our LA weather <laughs> but it's not hot it's not like it's hot it's not hot enough for me to wear shorts. I think tomorrow it's gonna to be low. Today was, but I didn't wear them, but tomorrow I'm gonna to check the weather because if it's like above 80, I'll wear shorts. Because even even one of my fleece shorts where the inside is like sweatshirt material, so it's not as, they're warmer, you know? But I don't really like these shorts because you guys can't see them, maybe you can. They're too loose on me. I don't like loose, they're loose fitting shorts. I like tight fitting shorts, but. These were only $12, so. Anyways, I've got lots of show and tell to show you guys um, that I just came up with. Um, some cool things of mine that I forgot I had and that I wanted to show you, so. Um, and I wanna show you um, 
my new watch, well, my two new watches. One watch is the battery's dead because I kept it too long before I wore it. I'm gonna have to take it to a, a jeweler and, or a watch repair and get a new battery. And the other one has stopped also. I found them in my nightstand. I didn't show you guys, I forgot, but um, they've, I've had them so long without using them that the batteries died. <laughs> Even one of them was on with that little plastic thing where you can't really affect the battery and you have to take that out. It was still dead. <laughs> so yeah, I've got things to show you. So thanks for watching you guys. And um, yeah, tomorrow I have a doc, my doctor appointment is really early at 1110. So um, that sucks. Cause I, I usually don't wake up until like nine or 10. So I'm gonna set my alarm to wake up at seven, which is gonna be hard. <laughs> so. Anyways, I'll probably upload this tomorrow, uh, which is uh, Monday, today's Sunday night. I'll probably upload it in the, I will upload it in the morning, but I'm much, I'll do it as, as a timer tonight. I'll upload it after this, but um, it'll probably come out sometime between 7 a.m. and 8 a.m. Pacific time. So th this video will be uploaded. Okay, take care everybody. Oh, let me do a pose. One moment, you guys. I'll do a pose with these checkered ones. No, with these. These are cool. Where is that one? Okay. Okay, thanks guys. I just wanted to take some stills. I, I'll take a still because my with the lighting in my um, dining room and seems like most of my apartment when I use my camera they're dark they're darker than when I than my videos look and it's a separate function it's a camera I don't know if I messed up the settings or what but um, they're you know the since my lighting is poor anyways in this room it's better with the um, on our video it looks lighter brighter you know than um, taking us um, using the timer and taking a picture so anyways this is my favorite thing to drink just my like to drive with just to have something and it doesn't taste bad if it gets cold like instead of water and this is actually bigger than bottled water I think is gold peak unsweetened tea and you can buy it in the store you can buy it in Walmart this it comes in a six pack it's good I tried the um, gold peak uh, diet, uh, diet sweet tea, because they make a sweet tea, I think too, but, or diet tea and it had, you know, artificial sugar in it. It was terrible. I'd rather have this, which is no sugar, than have that one. So anyways, thanks for watching everyone and um, happy Monday. Bye.